Ooh, Tony's ancestor is about to. Get oh my goodness! <laughs> Forgot about that part. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Ryan, and we're doing part three of the Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Let's play. We're playing as Murray. Last week we left off as Murray. Just chose. We just chose him. You know, we we're ready to, you know, get on out there and do his mission. And now we're actually going to do it. So uh, now it's just a matter of walking there and actually doing it. And this guy's got something in his pocket, and I I want it, but I don't think I have the power to steal it from him. I think you have to you have to buy Murray's pickpocketing abilities. Which is why in part one I tried to rob somebody and it didn't work out all that well. God damn it, there's like no way to get around this guy! Wow, I was about to say, how did all that running not uh, activate him getting angry at me? Oh, here we go, a mission, yay! This is where we're gonna go fishing, we're gonna get Ryoichi some, uh, some fish for some sushi. That's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, look at that clue bottle in the background. <laughs> I like how some games just don't hide the collectibles when you're uh, in a cutscene. Like Jack had that too. You just it'd be right in the middle of a cutscene. There's precursor precursor orbs just you know hanging out over there. Absolutely. This is Bentley we're talking about, Murray. And it's quite frankly, it's a little insulting that you think he can't that he can't you know take care of business here. And it's, it's even more insulting that you can't you don't think I can take care of business because I'm controlling the Bentley hacking minigame. This is a really fun minigame. I like this one. Side-scrolling shooter sort of thing. Ooh. Although I don't like the whole like leveling up system that this little minigame has. Which, if you don't know, you'll see in a second. You have to like collect these little things. And then Bentley will... It'll, it'll be like, level up! And then Bentley will, Bentley, like, will like level up. So, like you gotta collect like five stars or whatever these fucking things. The screen is also moving really slowly. Come on, move forward. Sheesh. Okay, there we go. Uh, there you go. Level one. So the thing moves a little bit faster. Uh, you get some bombs and all that. Ugh, my sinuses. Oh, you know, they, uh, oh, God, l let me tell you, they're not gonna sound good today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Tonight. I'm playing tonight. I don't know when you're watching this video. Might be during the day, which, you know, in which case, that might have made more sense. Uh, da -da 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 There's also a trophy for getting the highest score in all these on the arcades, and, uh, let me tell you what, that was a pain in the butt. I mean, it wasn't difficult, but, like, the first time I played it, I didn't realize that there was an end point to this arcade machine game thing, sort of thing. And then I played it, and then, you know, without, without even thinking, I didn't try to go for a high score. Because I just felt like it was going to come naturally because it was a never-ending arcade machine. Then it just got to the end boss and I didn't get the high score by the end of it. And I'm like, well, you know, that's some gosh darn booty stakes. So, <clears throat> that's kind of how that all went down. Level 6. These fucking, like, eyeball dudes on the side are annoying. And if you, yeah, so what's, an oh, see right there. See, yeah, that's what gets annoying. If you get, if you get hit once, you, uh, go level down. But you need to, you know, collect five fucking things to level back up. But if you get hit once, uh, then you get knocked back down, and I didn't like that very much, but, uh, yeah, how's everybody doing, you know, I'm, I'm doing alright, I'm doing good, I'm doing fine, I'm doing, hmm, I was trying to think of another way in which, uh, like, you know, another, in another country, or another, you know, cultural way of where people would say I'm doing good, but I, I, I just realized I'm not that cultural, and I don't know any other way people say it, so, that didn't work out all that well, oh, shit, that was a very good idea, how do you use bombs? I thought it was R2. I tried to use my bomb and it didn't work. Oh shit. I don't want to waste it if I don't know how to use it. Maybe it's R1. Come on, for fuck's sake. You're not getting me. There's clearly these pillars in front of me. Oh, it's R1. Okay, there we go. Boom! Look at that shit. <laughs> That's obviously how Bentley sees himself in these hacking games. <laughs> Trying to make himself a little more manly. When really he's just a crippled turtle that is a nerd. But that's fine by me. I like crippled turtles that are nerds. Because I like Bentley, you know? There you go. Where it go, goes, goes hand in hand. It's full circle, as they say. Uh, yeah, see, I'm, I'm just inhaling up the snots and swallowing it back down. That's certainly a nasty image. The sashimi gabarons. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Kind of rusty here. I haven't played since last week. 
Uh, I don't pre-record these. <clears throat> I play the night before they go up. Because generally, that's how long it takes for this to upload <laughs> to YouTube. Since they're like 5 gigabytes or something crazy like that. I'm sure I could compress them, but I just don't care care to do it. <laughs> just, I just render that shit, upload it, and then boom. There it is, up on the internets. She you bet your ass I can open it, Bentley. Look at me. I mean, look at that ass. That is an ass with power. Cause Murray has a fat ass, let me tell you. Mm. Mm. Salamander. I didn't like him, I just didn't like the way he was uh, looking at me. Uh, da -da -da. This is a really pretty section of the game, man. Bright colors. Very bright, beautiful, beaming. Those things look pretty goddamn terrifying. I wouldn't want to see those in real life. Although there's a lot of video game things I wouldn't want to see in real life. I remember the first time I played this little section, I did not understand the concept of using these barrels over here. Or no, I have to punch it first. Yeah, then they go to it. But then you have to, like, later on throw barrels at it and shit, and then, then they'll go to it. I believe so. Why is this here? Oh, they're looking for coins! This is also stupid, too. I couldn't recognize the pattern. Then I got hit, too. See? I just didn't know. But, uh, yeah, so I got some 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 stuff to talk about. Well, let me tell you guys. Something that's probably going to make you guys go, Whoa, Ryan, that is an awesome idea. Uh, some, I'm going to bring up his name right now, actually, so I'm going to stop moving for one second. Uh, the, uh, 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 M, M, Pinks97, if that is how your odd username is pronounced. I don't know if you pronounce a certain letter before the other. He made a very good point, and it's that, uh, <clears throat> can we get more than one Let's Play a week? And uh, I know a lot of people ask that. See, <laughs> I, I just talked about fucking messing that up, and then that's immediately what happens. Where am I supposed to pick up the thing? Yeah, right here. Yeah, it's a boulder. Anyway, he made a good point of, uh, you know, can we get more than one Let's Play a week? And people have asked this before. And my thing was, you know, I don't want to keep uploading like a billion videos that no one's watching. It's just all that work for nothing. But he really did make a good a good point in that uh, for longer for longer games it's gonna take longer to complete them and when I really started to think of it it's like you know he's kind of right because you know one part a week that means I'm gonna complete like four or five games a year you know what I'm saying and that that yeah that does seem like it would take a very long time and not everyone's gonna watch me gonna want to watch me play all five games I might be playing a particular game that people don't want to see. Which I know some people have expressed this in th this regard. Some people don't want to watch me play si Sly because they want to play it themselves. So, you know, that makes sense. So I said, you know what, that, that is a, actually a really good idea. So I'm kind of reconsidering... Uh, I'm reconsidering the, I guess, schedule for Let's Plays. And it, and it basically would mean you'd get more of them each week. So... You know, now that I think about it, like, I really don't mind. Like, the Let's Plays don't get that many views, so I, I, just, I just don't give a shit at this point. I do it for the people that like it, you know? So, what I was thinking, and you can tell me if this is a good idea or not. Idea? Is that what I said? Oh, you know what I mean. Idea. Um, I'm thinking, uh, I'm kind of, like, conf <laughs> it's hard to pay attention to this and that at the same time. While I'm talking and using the stupid motion controls. <laughs> Which I didn't think were that obtrusive. I know a lot of reviewers complained about it, but it's really, it's whatever. Anyway, I'm still fucking swallowing down snot. Jesus, I'm the most disgusting human being on the planet. <clears throat> I've been beat fat bastard from Austin Powers. Anyway, I was thinking of Let's Play, uh, a new Let's Play part every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So that's three a week, people. Whoa. <laughs> Hold the phone, Chuck Norris. No need to beat me senseless. I think I'm gonna do three parts uh, a week. That seems like a good a good idea to me. Although I will although I will say this: if we were to do something like that, oh fuck me in the face. Anyway, if we were to do something like that, yeah, come on, just restart already. If we were to do something like that, uh, they would not be 40 minutes each. Not no ch no chance, because uh, then that's like too demanding at least on my part. Motherfucker. I keep forgetting that I can jump with the fish or whatever. But, uh, 
Okay, so yeah, three a week. You know, so how does that sound? And they'd be uh, generally they'd be a shorter. I'd I'd say between twenty to twenty five minutes, but you'd get three of them a week, and they'd be closer to each other. You know what I'm saying? So you're not waiting an entire week to watch the next part. And in the, oh god, I kind of burped, kind of burped right there. Anyway, in the, in that in this respect, we would get games finished quicker. I'm still burping. We would get games finished quicker. So. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, more often, and, uh, oh, and they would, uh, since I would have to do it three times a week, um, I don't know, I don't know if you guys really necessarily care about this, but I would probably pre-record them. Like, I'd probably do one night where I just have a long play session of commentating and then split it up into three parts and then upload that throughout the, uh, the week. It'd just be easier on my part. You're still getting the three episodes a week. And uh, we're still getting games finished faster, and it's easier on me. It seems like everybody wins, and, you know, everybody should win, except the losers. And they're still going to lose. That's fine by them. Let them lose, because they're losers. But, you know, for us, we're winners, and that'd be a good thing. Oh, my God, I forgot the fish. Oh, shit. This is not... <laughs> See, I'm just, like, talking a storm here. And, uh, yeah, I just kind of forgot about that. I just said, fuck Ryuichi's fish. He doesn't deserve nothing. Okay, well, let's just grab that. Okay, now we're making progress. Yeah, so that is what I'm considering. Yay or nay to that. Uh, do not ignore this question. I really want to know if people would prefer this over the current uh, schedule, you know what I'm saying? Which uh, I, I do think it would be much uh, much better on, on, on that part, you know? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I'm, I just don't know what I'm doing at this point. How am I still going? I was about to say, why? <laughs> Isn't that a mission failed right there? So we'll see. Uh, I will. Eager I eagerly await your response to that inquiry. Ah! And then we'll do. You know, we'll see. We'll see from there. Because uh, that seems like it, w it would work out much better. And uh, you know, we could play other play a lot more other games, which would be uh, totally awesome. I want to try and like keep up with like some like newer newer releases you know play a lot of play a lot of new, new stuff as well I uh, think that'd be really cool while I while I love replaying old games you know it'd be cool to uh, play new ones too and we can all sort of experience the game together you know what I'm saying like when God of War comes out like when God of War Ascension came out not that I'm gonna do God of War but like for example, we could I could play God of War Ascension right as it's released, and everybody else who bought the game can watch with me, and we can talk about it in the comments and stuff. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Just shit like that. Let me know. It's up to you. Otherwise, if you're totally fine with once a week, 40 minutes, you know, that's cool too, man. Whatever works for me. I, I just think, because everyone asked for it, you know. Because in that, in that regard, more content, people would, you know, finish watching blah 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 and then you know it's like oh okay well he's doing sly i don't really want to really want to watch sly so it'll only take him like two weeks tops to finish the game you know nah probably not maybe like three weeks <laughs> he's in the uh, outfit hey we got two jobs here we're gonna play as ryuichi hmm yeah that's pretty much it hmm don't know what else to say really yeah respond to that that little Inquara, right there. Uh, this Sunday, this past Sunday, I cleaned my fish tanks, and that was cool because it took for fucking ever. Actually, I cleaned the one fish tank, which is a 55 gallon with a Tiger Oscar and four line Pims and uh, Lima shovel nose catfish and uh, Polyopter's Dalhizi and a rope fish. I got all sorts of shit in there. And, uh, yeah, I spent a lot of time cleaning it. Uh, I love fish and stuff, but like, I'll be, I'm totally guilty in the fact that I'm a guilty. I'm <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I'm guilty. I'm admitting to it. But uh, I'll admit that I uh, am sometimes lazy with cleaning it. That's why, I, like, I bought like these super powerful filters, <laughs> so I don't have to uh, do as much maintenance on it as I normally would have to. But I cleaned it for like, I think I spent like three hours cleaning it, and it took forever. There was, a, there was a decent amount of algae, so I scraped that off, and then there's like, you know, got to do a regular water change, you know. 
you don't know, when, when owning fish, you actually have to change about 25, 10 to 25% of the water, uh, give the tank new water every, every so often to, to you know, keep the nitrates down and all that. You don't want too much metals and all that in the, uh, in the water and all the chemicals that build up from what the fish produce. And, of course, I'd use, like, a gravel vacuum to, like, scoop up all the fish poop. That was fun. But it looks much better. The tank, tank looks beautiful right now. It looks gorgioso. I love me some fish. Uh, not to eat, though. Not to eat. To look at and appreciate. Ooh. Alright, we got some dudes here. We got some dudes here. We're gonna take it slow. We're gonna take it a little slow. <laughs> Don't know why it slow mos every time. It's cool the first couple of times, but then you're like, okay, just take him out. Yeah, this, uh, back in the sashimi caverns. Gotta go snaggle us up some plants or some shit. Get out of here, bitch. Fuck with me. Oh, shit. Okay, I kind of fell. Spent too much time on the platform. Kind of forgot these things uh, fall down. Ah! Don't know where I'm supposed to go. I know I have... Oh, shit. Yeah, that's what I have to do. I gotta go up. And I'm still getting my ass handed to me by all these... Oh, my nose is super itchy. You know, I'm itching it with my arm. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Assholes. Ah! There we go. Make sure those guys are down there. So, Ryuichi, we can do that sort of jump thing, and then boom, we got it. Now oh, my nose is super itchy. Oh my god. Why? What did I do to deserve this? Poison plant seed. Oh, my, man, my nose is like super itchy right now, and I have no clue why. No idea. Certainly didn't ask for any of that. Now my head's itching. Good God, where did all these alignments come from? Oh, my side of my face is itching. Why? What is up with that? Does that ever happen to you guys where it's like one part of your body gets irritated and then you like, you know, take care of it by itching it or blowing your nose or what, or what have you and then like everything else starts going bonkers? Oh man, I forgot. Oh yeah, it's over here. And it happens a lot to me. And I don't know why. It's like when you think you've... Like when you think of bugs and you get like creepy crawlies all over you. But they're not really all over you. You just kind of like... Have that feeling that something's crawling on you. That's not a good feeling. Ooh. Man, I'm like addicted to cracking my knuckles. I'm gonna pay for that shit when I'm older. At least I think, I think, I'm going to. As far as I know, I don't, I don't know, I, there's like multiple doctor sort of things where it's like, yeah, don't do it, and then some are like, yeah, go ahead, it's not that bad. But who, who, what the hell do I know? I'm not a doctor. I would make a pretty terrible doctor if you ask me. I mean, as, as of right now, I'd probably make a terrible doctor. I'm sure anybody would admit be a terrible doctor unless they had the proper proper medical training. In which case, if I was a doctor, I wouldn't be a doctor unless I had the proper training. And if I had the proper training, then I probably would be a good doctor. But if I, you know, if someone just said, hey, Ryan, you know, let's fucking operate on this dude right now, then, you know. Well, I mean, I'd, I'd say no up front because I'm not, I'm not the guy for the job. But if, like, I was, like, forced to, like, if some dude put a gun on my head and said, like, look, we need you in this operation room. Not that that would ever happen, but, like, if he did, you know, I... You know, I make a pretty terrible doctor. Honestly, I probably wouldn't have any clue what to do whatsoever, how to even start. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of the person that's like, eh, like with uh, gore and stuff. Like, no, nah, I'm not like a major like puss bag with it. It's like you know, in real life, I, I kind of, I'm kind of like, you know, I don't want to see that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Movies, I'm, I'm okay with it though. But you know what really makes me cringe is uh. When I'm watching a, like, gory movie, what really, no, like, and, you know, again, I can take this stuff, 
But for some reason, the one particular thing that really makes me cringe is when someone gets their neck cut. I hate seeing that. Like, oh, like I, that makes me hold my own neck. I can't watch that. I have no clue why. I can watch anything else, but like the neck area, it's like, oh, if someone gets their neck cut. I can't take that. Still itching my motherfucking nose. Man, this would make a good thing I don't fucking face cam. This shit would look stupid. El Jefe. It's one cool ass tiger. I feel like if I was an animal, I wouldn't mind being a tiger. How do I. Oh, don't want to do that. Ah, ah, no shit. God damn it. I boosted like too fast right off the bat. Yeah, I know I alerted a guard. Uh, I was about, like, about to burp, but I kind of held it in a little bit. No, not again! Son of a bitch, same thing. Did the same thing over and over again. Oh, I think I'm about to burp again. Oh, son of a... No, oh, motherfucker. I keep doing it. Well, this is too slow, man. Look at how slow I'm going. Like, Jesus Christ. Fucking worms are passing me. Hurry up! Oh, here's an interesting question. No! <laughs> that wasn't my question. I don't think I'm allowed to shoot the guards, though. Am I? Alright, let's test that right now. Am I allowed to shoot the guards? No, I'm not allowed to shoot the guards. See, that's what I thought. Anyway, here's an interesting question. I was just thinking about this the other day. Kind of stupid, but, uh, where do you think worms go when they die? You know? Like, earthworms? Just regular earthworms. Where do you think they go when they die? Like, earth heaven? Or, like, you know, or earthworm heaven, I should say. Come on! What am I supposed to do here? Fucking dude, take took forever. I say there's like nothing I can do about that. I'm not in control of that. Oh, this is fucking booty! I swear to God. Put your flashlight down, bro. I'm going this way. That's not even a way to go. What the f- How do I not run into these problems the first time I played the game, but during a Let's Play, it's when I f fucking run into these things. Oh, this is- this is unreal. This is like- I don't even- this is like traffic, dude. Like, come on. Is there something I'm not seeing here? Like, why is this taking so long? Dude! What am I? He's not putting the light down, dude! Follow El Jefe. What am I. Oh! Okay. <laughs> God, I feel so stupid. Coming from the guy who reviewed the game and got the platinum trophy, and you know what it is, guys? It's that. And again, this comes. This all goes back to like the commentating thing. I keep the TV volume down relatively low so it doesn't show up in the audio. And sometimes, you know, I am like talking over the dialogue and all that, so I kind of forget instances where. Uh, Bentley says, oh, you have to do this, or, or like in Jack, when Kira says, oh, you have to do this, blah, blah, blah. You know, I kind of forget about that. Now I'm taking too long. Now I'm probably going to fail this, too. Yep. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Man, I feel so stupid. I mean, I am stupid. Like, I, like I'm like i totally, you know, I'm right there with you on that one. I certainly wasn't a grade-A student when I was in school. That's not to say that this this applies here, because I'm I'm one of those people where it's like, you know, ga gamers are very smart people, you know what I'm saying? I Man, I say that a lot, and you know what I'm saying. Like, I'm trying to relate to a young generation of kids, like, in high school. I'm, like, some, some sort of motivational speaker. But, anyway. Uh... <laughs> kind of forgot what I was saying already. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Gamers are smart people. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Yeah, gamers are gamers are really smart people. Like we we are a smart herb of people. <laughs> that is not the word I was looking for. We are a smart collective. Fuck it, we're smart. Okay, all right, all right, we're smart. We're just we're we're cool people. We're better than everyone else. You know, we think differently. You know, you know, some your average person might you know go out shopping with 30 bucks and your average gamer would be like okay well I'm gonna save this for some sword I'm gonna buy that totally applies to what I'm talking about ah. totally forgot man yeah of course I, I remember this now I use the fucking chicken outfit you have to do the, I believe you use this in a later section too I think you know what I'm saying <laughs> Phrase of the day right there. El Jefe, what are you up to? What if he was just like beating off? That's when we that's what we caught him doing. Ah, fishy caves. Good thing I seal them. My dragon gates are invincible. As long as that lazy guard doesn't get distracted by sushi. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> it's just so funny how they, how they pose all these situations. Yeah, you know, the boss is just walking around revealing all of his information to himself. <laughs> Who does that? What a terrible boss. <laughs> so, so stupid. <laughs> I mean, it's not stupid, but, you know, it's just funny in that regard. Whoa, almost at the edge. Whoa! Chicken. I'm a chicken. Uh, but that's a road. Gotta go this way. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck! Come on, man. You had your light down. You bastard. You. Ah. Fucking Hot Wheels. Who didn't have those growing up? Ah, uh, go past them. That's what I did when I played with Hot Wheels. I would make the noises. Mm -hmm. But who didn't? Probably like rich kids that never like got like you know regular kid toys. They get like aristocratic kid toys. Not sure what aristocratic kid toys would be. Maybe like I don't know a candle. <laughs> is that what is that what rich kids play with candles? Oh, look, Mommy. It's cherry winter. Smell it, Mommy. It's cherry winter. Don't know why I'm putting a British accent. Kind of a mix of Australian. Another one of those situations where it's like, oh, man, that is raunchy right there. Cannot believe Murray's enticing that tiger. Man, what if that was, like, Tony the Tiger's ancestor? You know? Look at look at Tony's grandfather or ancestor or whatever. Ooh, Tony's ancestor is about to. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Forgot about that part. <laughs> A little love making's gonna go on back there, and Murray's not prepared for it. Yeah, I forgot about that. A little ass play. When that happened, the first time I saw that, I was like, D I was like, dude, no way, this is rated E for everyone, man. <laughs> he just smacked Murray's ass like, mm, yeah, I'm about to get some in here. I'm about to back that ass up. Now we got a slime mission. Bentley's bombs are sticky. Try sticking one on an unsuspecting guard. Kaboom! That was like a that like had a that had a burp in it. Ah, oh, why am I burping so much? I just drank milk. Does that really invoke burping? Chocolate milk, by the way, still got that theme going on. Where are we going next? No, oh, I didn't even mean to get that clue bottle. Attitude sickness. Is that what it said? Altitude sickness. Excuse me. Wow, I'm trying to like. Get up there. There we go. 
Loading job. Loading job. Oh wait, is this the uh, the last mission? The boss? I think we're gonna fight El Jefe now. I believe we are going to fight El Jefe. Yeah, because we gotta drop the bridge, go in, and then fight that bitch. Ooh, cracking all over the place. Fuck Tony the Tiger's ancestors, man. They're dicks anyway. Oh, wait, you know what, though? He wouldn't be an ancestor because he's from the present. Yeah, that's right. Because El Jefe isn't, you know, he's isn't from the past. He's a present dude who time-traveled like us. So that means he would be, uh, like, Tony's brother or something. Yeah. Wow, very different. Uh, wow, Tony's parents must not be happy about that. They're just sitting here thinking, oh yeah, you know, we got one son. He's great, he's got, he's got his own cereal brand going on. We're just really proud of our kid. And then it's like, oh, we got, and you know, El Jefe's fucking a drug lord. They don't even let him in the house anymore. Oh, what the hell? How'd that not work? Oh, I gotta keep going. I gotta let it ride it out. Yeah, they're probably not psyched about that. Like, you know, just picture a good old Thanksgiving dinner. Tony walks in, hey parents, we're great, and then, you know, Tony's parents are like, Tony, have you seen your brother, and Tony's like, you know what, Ma, I just, I ha haven't talked to him in a while, I just don't know, I mean, I sent him a, I sh shot him a text, see if he'd show up, but, and then that's where, you know, El Jefe breaks in, hey, what's going on, hi El Jefe, how have you, have it fucking good, fucking great, just exported some, some some semen. <laughs> I was gonna say semen, but I don't think mob people do that. Just exported some cocaine and uh, got lots of money. It really hurts my uh, throat speaking in that voice. And then you know Tony's parents were just like, you know, Hefe, when are, when are you gonna stop? When is it gonna stop? You know, you've been doing this. You're you're 28. You're going to do this the rest of your life? You're going to get yourself killed, Hefe. And then he's like, you know what? I don't need this shit. Fuck you guys. And then Tony's like, bro, come on, man. Don't do not do this to her again. You do this every holiday. Hey, fuck you, Tony. And then he, like, runs out to his car and, like, does a line of coke. And Tony comes in the car and he's like, you know what? You're a real piece of shit. You know that? And Hefe's just like, you can't judge me. Fuck you. I got more money than you anyway. You're gonna kill yourself doing this. You know? Being in, being involved in the mob. You know, we're really worried about you. And then, like, they try to, like, get in, on intervention or something. But, you know, like, like Tony and, like, his family calls intervention. And they, like, do an episode on him or something. Cannot believe I just made all that shit up. What the hell am I talking about? Wow, El Jefe's got an impressive sort of thing going on. Can't believe he came into the past and made all this happen. Pretty much built an entire tower dedicated to him. Oh, man. Big-ass blimp. La Paradox's blimp, I believe. We're gonna take him out, though. Screw El Jefe. Screw El Jefe. <laughs> Bastard. Them, ah! I had my pop filter. No! Let me readjust. Okay. Hopefully that is better. <laughs> Censored. Time to kick some ass. Oh, Ryuichi's just got a little plan going on. So he's like, yeah, you do this. Why does Murray still have the Kabuki on? Take that shit off, man. Don't know why I decided to walk over there and break open a death box. 
so much is going on. I'm just like body slamming at this point. These little mice guys are so annoying to deal with when they shoot those like, I don't know, like gas at you. Plus Slime Bentley are doing some, some good old fashioned work around here. Mmm. Mmm. I just had a good old fashioned wall brawl. Ooh. Ooh. Boop, boop, boop. You gotta come here for a trophy too. The uh, navigate like Drake trophy, which is uh like probably the biggest pain in the ass in this game, like in terms of trophies. A trophy you have to look at all the map. You have to look at every map in the game. So basically, you just have to do this. Yep, looked at it, and then you like gotta leave. That's all you have to do. You have to look at every map in the game. So since there are certain unique areas like this, that means you have to keep revisiting them if you hadn't looked at the map before. And that was just a huge pain in the butt, because that basically means you had to play the mission all the way up until the part where you uh, needed to be. Oh, oh alright, well, that wasn't so cool, but... Yeah, that was a really pain in... That was a huge pain in the ass. I was talking to Andrew about that, too. Andrew's the uh, guy who runs the Sly 4 official fan page, YouTube channel, and all that. Yeah, that's was, that was a stupid trophy. And there's like, oh, come on. I kind of had like, that was a pretty, that was like some parkour stuff right there. Kind of like sidesteps sort of jumpy did. Alright. It's good platforming going. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, run on this thing. It's kind of fun. Although I'm sure I'd bust my ass trying to run on a cylinder. I mean, for crying out loud, I can't run on a treadmill. You think I can do it on a cylinder? I mean, I can run on a treadmill. It's just, you know. I choose not to. Yeah, look at how clean we are. We clean up pretty nice, us Cooper. Cooper family. Who is he doing that to? <laughs> it's like an audience. I mean, because he wasn't looking at the player. Aw, oh, you bitch! Oh, shit. Everyone's just watching, let him, letting him do it. Yeah, go ahead. That's fine. Sorry, Cooper. You lose. I need to deliver this puny stick to a new owner. Don't pick on my stick. My stick's way bigger than yours. Don't worry, Ryu. Pun intended. Watch after these two. I'm gonna kick some tiger tail and get your cane back. Ah, what a what a great little. What a great little guy. Don't worry, Ryuichi. I got you. You're my... You're part of my heritage. I'd do anything for you. Pursue El Jefe. Nice pigeon. Looks like a real pigeon magnet. <laughs> he has a face on his on Hal on Hal Al Hefe. We'll see about that. I love Sly's voice. I love his I love his voice actor. Really talented. We're about to get into a boss fight, guys. El Jefe is a, a boss. Didn't know if you, if you knew that. But he is a boss. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. A magnificent likeness, isn't it, Cooper? Almost 
as handsome as the real thing. Huh. Yeah, looks almost big enough to contain your overinflated ego. Take a nice long look. I want you to remember the one who crushed you. Ouch. Looks to me like you've got nowhere left to run, El Jefe. Ready to face me now? <laughs> Sticking up for the family, eh, Cooper? Too bad you'll never see any of them again. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, Cooper. You've climbed so high, and now you're gonna fall. Nobody says that and gets away with it, you piece of shit. And that concludes this week's, uh, this little Let's Play we're doing here. I was gonna say, like, Let's Talk PlayStation, but that's not what this is. I'm gonna see you guys, uh, either next Wednesday. Or Monday, depending on what your choice is for the new Let's Play schedule. But right now, we're going to end it right here on this little cliffhanger. Ah, I'm Ryan Bonecki. Thank you for playing with me, and I'll see you when you decide when the next episode should go up. Ah!